Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Soul Align Success. Today I'm gonna to answer another question that came in, which was, how can I break the mental beliefs that I won't be liked? So this is a really good topic and I'm happy to talk about this because this is something that holds a lot of energy healers and spiritual teachers back. They're worried about how they're going to be received and if they're going to be liked. And what I can say right off the bat is you're not going to be liked by everyone. In fact, the more I share my message, the more I am authentic, the more I speak my truth, the more haters. I have the more messages I receive of people criticizing me and um, devaluing or attempting to devalue what I am doing right online my message that I'm sharing um, I run into this all the time I ran into it the other day when I was um, scrolling through some of my Facebook alerts and some of the comments that were left on some of my videos they're not all positive there are some people um, that took offense to what I post and basically ridiculing me online. And my first instinct was I was neutral. It really didn't phase me, whereas probably a couple of years ago it would have hurt. It would have probably stung because I was coming from a different consciousness um, at that point, right? Um, but it was neutral and I had to laugh at it. I just laughed at it. You will start to polarize your audience as you step into your authentic self and as you speak your truth and share your message and share your gift with the world. Not everybody is going to like you and this is not a popularity contest. Oprah has haters. People hate what Oprah does. Like who really gives a shit at this point, right? You, you're gonna be ridiculed no matter what you do. So you might as well be authentically you and get over that and show up in whichever way you want to show up, share whatever message you want to share, speak whatever truth you want to speak and let the haters hate. Who cares? You're not going to be liked. And I can say if you're going into this, trying to build your spiritual business from a popularity as a popularity contest, you are going to be in for a rough ride, you know? Not everyone's gonna like you. In fact, the very fact that you actually wanna monetize your gift is going to set people off. The actual, you know, the actual fact that you feel you or your, your gift is worthy of compensation, right? That the, the transformation that you help instill with it, within others and the catalyst that you are in other people's growth process, there are gonna be people that criticize you because you're, running a business and you're actually receiving in exchange for what you are giving. And you have to recognize that these naysayers don't get it and they're not going to get it. And it's not your job to hide or conform or not say what you want to say and not be authentic because someone out there isn't going to get it because it doesn't matter. They're not always going to get it it's not, it's just not going to happen, right? You are going to have haters. You're going to have people that don't like you. You're going to have people that disagree with what you have to say. You know what? At the end of the day, you can't win them all. And that's literally the conversation that I had with myself when I saw some of the comments on my Facebook um, posts the other day. I was just like, I had to laugh at it and was just like, can't win them all. <laughs> you know, I'm not here to. And I really don't care. You know what I mean? I don't mother effing care who likes or doesn't like me. And I can say that that's not 110%. Of course, I could always work for more of that. You know, I'm, I'm not, am I 100% unapologetically me 24 seven all of the time? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I can say that holding myself back for fear of not being liked is no longer an option. And you know what else? 
for as many people, because it actually, I looked at that Facebook post and it was for the same amount of people that liked it, there was an equal amount of people that didn't like it. Really, none of that is my concern, but that's what happens when you share authenticity. You polarize people. Some people are not going to like the message that you share because you trigger them too much. Your message triggers them too much or they're gonna have some problem with it, which is really none of your business. And there'll be people that totally love your message and resonate with it. And those are people that are authentically um, aligning with your message. When you come from authentic alignment, you're going to attract other people that are that are in alignment with that. And so at the end of the day, you just have to ask yourself, if you're gonna show up and you're gonna do this thing, right? If you're gonna do this thing, how do you wanna show up? Do you wanna show up in a way where you have to filter everything you say and do for fear of being liked and therefore express an inauthentic version of yourself? That is a prison, that is a trap. Or do you just wanna show up and be you and be free and liberate yourself and let people, you know, spit all of the of the hate that they want to that they want to at you and just move on your merry effing way with your mission right it's not about being liked so to get so to answer this question that this this woman asked um how do i get over this fear of being liked recognize that you're just not going to be liked by everyone and that's Fine, that's the point. Think about how many millions and billions of people there are on the planet. I mean, do you really think that everyone's going to like you and what you have to share when there's you're putting your message out in front of millions and billions of people when you go global via the internet, right? There's always gonna be someone that you rub the wrong way for whatever reason, that's on them. It has nothing to do with you. You're only... Thing is to show up authentically and share and be in alignment with your calling and be in alignment with your mission. Think about it. Some of the people that you wouldn't even want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with them, let alone a conversation or anything like that. So why would you care whether or not they like you online? You shouldn't, right? You wouldn't care, right? Half of these people, you probably wouldn't even want to be in the vicinity of them because they're just completely not... Uh, vibing with you and vice versa and that's perfectly fine everybody's at their own place on their own journey in their own space with their own baggage with their own conditioned belief systems and with everything that's led them up to this point now and you know what the other thing is you have to keep in mind as an energy healer and a teacher um, and a messenger is that you may be here to rock the boat a little bit just saying, you may be here to go against some of the mainstream bullshit that you see playing out. Just saying, you may be here to be a whistleblower on the conditioned patterns and the limited belief systems that people are buying into. Just saying, and if that's the case, then the things that come out of you when they are authentic and they are aligned, the messages that come out of you are going to trigger people and not everybody's going to like you because they don't like being triggered. But nonetheless, your message is still important because the person that's meant to hear it is going to hear it and that's going to help elevate them to their next level. So quit worrying about being liked. It's not a popularity contest. Stay true to your message, straight to, straight, uh, Stay true to your mission and your calling and you'll be fine. Namaste.